Hi, and welcome to this episode of AVR TV. Today I'm going to introduce a brand new AVR32 kit, the EVK1105. This kit is an evaluation kit for the UC3A0 series. The EVK1105 demonstrates the full potential of the UC3A0 used in digital audio applications. The kit has a lot of exciting features. Let's take a closer look. The kit has a full speed USB on the Go host that could also be used as a device. There's an Ethernet port as well as an SDMMC slot on the other side. And in addition, the kit is prepared for the upcoming AVR's wireless extension kits with the VLS header. The QVGA screen provides crisp graphics. The sound is output through a 3.5mm high quality stereo audio jack. And there's also a mono microphone on board. Atmel's capacitive touch solution, the Q-Touch keyboard, is the hottest keyboard technology around. The JTAG debug port offers basic programming and run control, but there's also a Nexus debug port on board. The Nexus port offers high-speed programming and full runtime debug with data and program trace in a non-intrusive manner. The USB debug port offers 500 milliamps power supply and a USB to serial converter. The board controller converts serial to USB and monitors the board voltages. On the other side, there's an 8 megabyte data flash and a 32 megabyte SD RAM that can be used for graphics, storage, or buffers. The board is especially tailored for audio playback. The basic operation is playback from a USB stick and using the internal audio deck for playback. This is a true single chip solution. The external audio deck can be used through the iScore S as well if even higher quality sound is required. External RAM and storage can be used as sound buffers or to store graphics for the LCD screen. The application can be expanded even further with an Ethernet port or with a Zigbee or Bluetooth connection. The board offers a wide range of opportunities. You could even connect an iPod to it. The demo that I'm going to show to you today is an MP3 player. It playbacks from a FAT file system on the USB disk. The first thing we need to do is to power the kit. Then we need to insert the USB disk. The files and folders that are present on the disk is displayed on the screen. On this disk, there are no folders, but three songs on the root. Let's select the song and play it. The cover art is displayed on the screen, as well as the ID3 tags. The artist, and the track title, and the file name is also displayed. During playback, we could change the volume levels as well. It could either be changed down, or we could increase the volume. We could also navigate. We can go forward to select the next song. Or we can go backwards to select a previous song. This is just one of the many exciting applications you could run on the UC3 and the EVK1105. You'll find more information about this new exciting kit at atmol.com slash AVR32. Until next time.